If some of the national retail chains are having a hard time, you can imagine what it's like for local shop owners all across our state. We caught up with Jeff Beck, who owns the comic book store Eastside Mags in Montclair. He compares the current retail environment to a boxing match. He's taken some hits, but he is still swinging. Jeff, it's good to talk to you, uh, especially when we know that you're taking some time out of what I'm sure is just a very kind of challenging environment that you're operating in. How have you been impacted by COVID? Uh, well, I mean, for starters, uh, the impact was started in March, uh, end of March with the shutdown. Uh, we were shut down for about three and a half months. Uh, I had to lay off my employees. I couldn't let people into the store, but I kept coming in by myself uh, to do, you know, I had to ramp up my social media game. Uh, I had to figure out ways to connect with people more immediately uh, to sell things. Uh, we were doing, I was doing curbside pickup and shipping uh, while we were shut down. Uh, when Governor Murphy came on and said uh, that uh, non-essential businesses could reopen in June, I believe it was, uh, I was able to bring my employees back. We still do curbside pickup and shipping, um, but uh, we are also now allowed to have people back in stores, so that's great. Have you seen business pick up since you were able to get uh, people back into the store? Uh, yes, uh, to a certain degree. Um, we we we've been here for six and a half years and we've developed a really strong customer base uh a lot of our customers are just super loyal which i think could be said for almost any comic book store really uh it seems to be a, a landmark of the industry but um you know during the shutdown i think people realized that we were shut down but i was still here doing curbside and shipping. So uh, I wasn't the same business as it was. I mean, we were down at one point 70% year over year, um, which is a lot. It's certainly not anywhere near what it was this time last year, but we're just grateful that people are still coming. People are, we're seeing new faces, which is also a very good sign as opposed to just the regular customers who come in week after week or month after month. And um, yeah, it's definitely, better not where it should be or great but definitely better so obviously it's a tough environment with covid but at the same time we've had this trend that really was going on before covid and that is you know consumers turning to larger and larger retailers it's hard for a main street business to get out there and compete what is your key to success how are you able to keep those customers when you have to you know, fight off the online world and some big players? Uh, customer service. Uh, I can't tell you how many times I've walked into, uh, and it's not often because I try not to shop at Walmart, but uh, it's almost impossible to find an employee at Walmart if you have a question about where to find something. It's almost like you need to know where everything is in every aisle because if you need assistance finding something, mm -hmm. They're just not there or they're doing other things and you feel like you're pulling someone away from a job that they're working on. Um, our internet business is not exactly where it should be. It's definitely my weakest point as far as my store goes. Um, but I think the fact that we've been here for six and a half years, I can attribute to the fact that our customer service is stellar. I joke with people all the time and say we're the Miles Davis of the comic book industry, that we're just that cool. Um, <laughs> And, you know, you come in and whether you are a seasoned comic book fan or a new comic book fan or your kids want to read something, I mean, we have no problem chatting it up with you and talking about stuff that we're reading, uh, stuff that we like, artists, writers, stuff like that. So, you know, we'll, we make you feel like family and that's not by accident. It's very intentional because we want this industry especially to feel very inclusive and we want everybody to feel like there's something for them because there is something for everybody out there. It's not just Superman and Spider-Man. There's tons of material out there, especially nowadays, and you just need help finding it. And with us, we are more than happy to help you find it. And I think that's what's kept us up. Are you concerned about some of your small business neighbors? There's a lot of chatter about 
how small businesses might not survive the winter months, especially if these case numbers rise. We know that financially it's been so difficult for so many. Are you worried about that personally? And are you worried about your neighbors in Montclair? I've had some friends who own businesses in town already who have had to close their doors. I've had, there's, there's a store in town who I'm friendly with, the, the two owners. Uh, they haven't, still haven't let anybody really in their store except on special occasions because they're so hyper concerned about what's going on and with good reason. Um, you know, it's, there's definitely inherent concern. There's a lot of, a lot of worry about that stuff, but I'm, I've, I've been trying to look at it like a boxing match where, you know, there's rounds. So the, the three and a half month shutdown was round one. And now the summer months were round two. And now the winter months are going to be round three. And if they shut it down again, that'll be round four. And so far, I'm, the way I figure it, two to three rounds in and I'm still standing. I've still got breath in me. I can still get my hands up. So, you know, I'm just going to keep doing what I can, keep fighting uh, to stay in business and keep the dream alive. And uh, I hope uh, my, my colleagues and fellow neighbors are too. And if they need help, I'm more than happy to do what I can to help, whether it's passing on information about grants or loans that come online uh, or just repost their posts so that I can say, hey, if you're a fan of Eastside Mags, you should check out Just Kidding Around on Bloomfield Ave or heritage down the block on South Fullerton or, you know, go to eat at Villa Lobos, which is right across the street from us. And then when you're done with your tacos and your tortas, yeah. you can come across the street and pick up some cool comics. So we're, we're very community focused and very engaged with what's going on around us. Well, listen, Jeff, I wish you the best of luck. I hope you can deliver a knockout blow as you uh, fight another round. We're trying, we're trying. So we'll see. Fingers crossed. Thanks for watching. For more clips and episodes of NJ Business Beat, subscribe to the NJ Spotlight News YouTube channel.